What's up you guys, welcome to the Single Guy channel. I'm Lloyd, your pickup and dating coach, and today we're gonna to be talking about why women do not give good advice for men when it comes to dating. Now, I know there's a lot of female dating coaches out there that are giving great advice for men. I watch them, I've had women on my channel before too, speaking about kind of like, you know, they're, they're their story and um, the things that they like in a guy. And I'm usually there to kind of translate and turn into practical advice for you guys. But yeah, dude, I would say in general, most of the advice that women give is pretty terrible. I mean, most of the advice that people give in general is pretty bad as well, too. The problem is, is that most guys, when they hear a hot girl giving them advice, they automatically, like, assume it's the gospel because, they, <laughs> you know, it's a hot girl. That's the girl that they're trying to get. But that's not true at all. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you why women don't give good advice, um, all the reasons, and they're relevant for not just women because other people are going to tell you this to this, too. So this is going to teach you how to gauge feedback and take advice that's actually going to help you out rather than taking all this bad advice which is only going to make you dumber so let's get right into it the first reason is that women do not understand your experience they're not going through the same motions as you now there's the saying where you shouldn't ask a fish how to fish you should ask a fisherman you shouldn't ask a gazelle how to hunt you should ask a hunter the same thing applies here man okay she does not know what it's like walking up and you know talking to a girl she doesn't understand the approach she's not familiar with all that stuff okay she's not going to sympathize with you when you try and explain to her how getting shot down feels like you've ever had a woman kind of like try and explain a situation with you where a guy like cat called her or something like that or made her feel uncomfortable and you listen to this story and you're just like uh, so wait where's the problem this is exactly the same thing that happens when you're explaining to a woman your perspective here okay they're not going to understand what it's like being in your shoes the only way for them to truly or if you i used to believe that if you talked with another person explained your story told it to them that they can understand you and for who you are I no longer think that anymore. I think that you can appreciate something about another person by having them tell their story and explaining it to you. You can appreciate it, but you will never truly understand unless you are in that person's shoes for a very long period of time. And that's just not going to happen for women and men. So I think that, you know, not only is she not going to understand your experience, um, and women that pretend that they do are usually give the worst advice. But not only is she not going to understand your experience, but you should never expect her to. Two, she assumes all women are like her. So this kind of goes back to women's and people in general are solipsism. We are, uh, we generally think solipsism is basically the belief that your reality is everybody else's reality. And because it's the only reality that you know, people generally fall into this trap. So a lot of women will give advice and they'll say, oh, well, th you know, this, you know, girls like this do this. And th they're saying what they want. Um, but not every girl's like her. She might like different things. She might like different types of guys. And there are baseline principles that are attractive to women. But normally when women are talking about this, they talk about all the little things um, that they like. And the little things change. Man. Three, when they give advice, they're not talking about desire and attraction. They're usually talking about like commitment. So what do I mean by this? I mean, when you ask for advice from a woman, nine times out of 10, she's going to give you advice about a guy that she already wants to fuck that she wishes would do certain things, okay? So she already wants to sleep with this dude and, she, and you ask her for advice and she's like, well, you know, I, you know, it's really good when a guy calls me, tells me he likes me, asks me how my morning was. Uh, I really like when men are respectful to me. Um, I really like it when they're kind. Okay, these are all really nice, but they do not cultivate desire, okay? She wants them from the guy that she already desires, but actually how to become that guy that she wants to fuck already, she's not going to tell you that. And in fact, even by you asking, women, they, they kind of just want a guy to get it. If they have to explain a guy how to get them to desire them, then you just prove that you're never going to be a guy that she desires. Number four is women are too nice. Too often, and this is not just women, you guys, most people, when you ask them for advice, they're not going to tell you what you need to hear. They're going to tell you what is going to make you like them. 
They don't want to upset you. They don't want to make you feel bad. They're going to say things like, you know what? You're a great guy. And being nice and respectful to women, you know, some girl out there is going to see that and she's going to love you for it. And if that girl doesn't like you, well, then fuck her. There's tons of other girls out there. There's plenty of fish in the sea. So go out there and do you. All right. That's really cool. That's going to make you. It's going to, It's a good pump up you know, speech to give you, it's going to make you feel good in the moment, maybe. Um, but it doesn't really help you. Okay, it doesn't solve any of your problems. Um, women aren't going to come out and tell you you're a fucking loser, man. People in general aren't going to say that shit to you. I will though, I have no problem doing that. <laughs> if you're in my coaching program, I will tell you when you're a loser and the stuff that you need to focus on. So with this, you really have to take into account what's going through the person's mind. Is this person just trying to get me to like them or do they actually care and give me care enough to give me good advice that I might not like at that moment. I might be mad at them for saying it and resent them for it, but in the long term, I'm gonna be better for it. Five is what they say they want is not what they actually do. This is the classic example of the woman who says she wants a guy to be kind, respectful to her. She wants a guy who shows affection. She wants a guy who's, uh, you know, always there for her. And then she goes and fucks the football player um, on the, you know, on the high school team who doesn't call her, doesn't respect her, doesn't respond to her phone calls, and treats her like dirt. Okay, this is the classic example of about what they are saying, what they want them to want. They wish they liked that guy who was that kind of like pushover provider type who was always nice to them and there for them, okay? They wish they liked that guy. That's why those romantic comedies movies, they sell like hotcakes because all women wish they were into that guy, but who they actually desire is that jerk on the football team. You have to see if what they're saying is actually what they're doing. And I think too often than not, the mainstream media falls into this category. They tend, to, if you look at the advice they give, they tend to give the general typical advice that most women give, which is like, just be yourself, find someone who's compatible with you, um, and all of that different stuff. They don't, when they, when you actually tell them to tell you which people they pick, who they're mating with, and why they're mating with them, the answers aren't so pretty, man. You know, sometimes, like, they are really seeing if a guy's a loser or not. They are really seeing if a guy has game. They are really seeing uh, if a guy has some sort of status that they're looking for. They, they do care about those things. And that's not a pretty picture that anybody wants to paint. And so it, it's something that they keep private and that they probably won't tell you. So hopefully from this video, you've seen how not just women... Um, are giving this bad advice. It's men too. It's the mainstream media. It's everyone, okay? These people, at the end of the day, when you're asking for advice from someone, you really have to see where it's coming from. Do them from my channel too, okay? You really gotta vet who you're getting advice from. Um, I think Alan Nation said this, or I don't know who said it, but they said that 90% of the advice that you get, you should just ignore. But when you see a guy who has what you, or a guy or a girl who has what you want, who uh, has this, you know, similar story to you, listen to everything they say. Okay, you might not agree with everything, but a lot of the stuff they say is going to be in the direction that you're looking for. Um, and I think that's a rule that you should have in your lives as well too. It's one that I go by. So thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one mentorship program where I coach guys in this sort of stuff, shoot me an email, thesingleguy2017, gmail.com. Give me your age, name, city you live in, and you tell me a little bit about your situation. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.